Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, your source for figure and model updates every Wednesday and Friday. So today on Figure Friday, I'm just going to be showing the four Bravo 6 equipment upgrade sets that we've got. Now, we've, we got a whole mess of Bravo 6 stuff in earlier this week. All the newest releases plus a whole bunch of the other releases, which I'll be talking about in next week and the future weeks on Figure Friday. But right now I just want to talk briefly about these things and I'm going to be showing up close shots of the detail in a minute but right now I'm just going to be doing a quick overview. The M1 helmets are a really cool kit. Uh, it's not just M1 helmets, they've all got individual details and character so I'll be showing that off a little bit later. The four canteens or the four styles of canteen, I think that's a hydration bladder. This one I'm not too familiar with it, although I know it's been used up until very recently, or up until the last sort of decade. And then the other standard ones, the Canteen Exposed and the Canteen in the Pouch. I really like the Exposed Canteen because then you can use it on a lot of things like AFV, just like the top of a, a hatch or something like that. Really useful stuff. The other two kits that we got are the boonie hat and entrenching tool combo and the French slash communist MAT submachine guns and grenades. Now the MAT, I don't know anything about it. I actually don't even know what caliber it is. All I know is that the French used it in their occupation of Indochina and then the communist forces adopted it and used it as their, well, one of their weapons. And it's a really useful kit. It's got a lot of really cool stuff in it. Uh, the folded, the collapsed version of the MAT, and then the other ones that are just uh, combat ready. I, like I said, I don't know anything about the MAT, so I can't really talk about it that much. But the entrenching tool here is what really stood out to me. And it just blew me away when I saw it. Let me show you. It's basically a working entrenching tool in 135th scale. And I don't know about you guys, but I personally love the box art on some of these Bravo 6 kits. The Nixon and Ho Chi Minh talking about the different, you know, how to fold the stock and how to make the entrenching tool is just a little bit of extra character that you don't often see in the modeling world. And it's, I'm just really, really glad that he does that sort of stuff. This is the kind of thing that if he released them in poster size, I would adorn the man cave that I'm in right now with them. So, yeah. So, I just wanted to show off a few of the M1 helmets in that kit. Here's the AFV driver helmet. As you can see, it's got the distinctive goggles and a little bottle of bug repellent, which is really cool. Uh, sort of a 60 gunner helmet with spare ammunition around the back of the strap and then I'm not sure if that's his like a good luck bandana or something that's draped around it but it's really cool nonetheless and then there's this one and this one at first I looked at it and I thought it was just a standard helmet but it's actually got on the inside here it looks like a toque or some sort of weather cover that the grunt has put inside his helmet and you can see it and I really like that idea of having that. I don't know if it's a, a specific military piece of equipment or if it's just sort of a personal use kind of thing in which case you could have it as like a red uh, toque or something like that that sort of shows off underneath the helmet which is really cool. Some other things that come in this kit that I really really like are the the M60 bipod which is cool that comes in photo etch the M60 flip up sight the Ranger right there and <laughs> aviators or aviators or I'm not sure if they're intended to be reading glasses but it, at any rate they're in photo etch and I really really like this detail I've seen some people do the um, Stalingrad figures that come with these reading glasses in photo etch and they look fantastic. They are scale thickness basically and they just add a really really sharp bit of character to the figure. That was otherwise not really possible to have reading glasses on a 135th scale figure without them being molded on and sort of looking hokey and fat. So this is a really cool extra fret that comes with the M1 helmets. 
Now, uh, the last thing I wanted to show is the entrenching tool fret. This is, it's got, you've got to be able to do a bit of very delicate work, basically, and work with photo etch. I'm not particularly good with photo etch, so, <laughs> you know, this would be a bit of a struggle for me, but it is there, and it's really, really cool. And like I said, they're basically working entrenching tools, so you can have them folded out or collapsed, whichever way you want to use them. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, be sure to check us out at on Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. I'll put the link to our homepage in the description. And as I've said in the past couple of videos, we are hustling to get our new website up and running. It's gonna be basically just better, faster, more professional, better in every aspect that we can crank it out in. And so if you're having any troubles with the current website, just know that we're working as hard as we can to get the new one up and running. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.